2012 IDC, first of all, uh, looks like this. If you haven't seen the, the book yet, uh, came out quite a while ago. Already in use for wind design in the state of Florida and the restrictions within uh, Maryland have also adopted this code already. Elsewhere, uh, adoption is proceeding and will take place through 2013 and, and 14. The 2012 IBC adopts for structural design purposes and all loads ASC 7 2010 edition. The reason we have two covers on this picture is the second cover is of the second printing of AC 710 and the second printing includes much of the errata that have been found in the first printing of AC 710. So if you haven't bought your copy yet, the second printing is what you want to buy. And make sure that you do that. Now this slide gives you the choices of wind design that are provided in the 2012 IBC it's a section 1609 of the code is on wind design in that section there are choices of wind design and and that's what we are talk, we are looking at on this particular slide now you can uh, for all wind design just go to AC 710 Okay, that is definitely an option. If uh, for whatever reason you don't want to do that, for certain residential buildings, you have other choices. There is an ICC standard 600 and AFNPA standard, American Forest and Paper Association, and an AISI standard. But those are kind of uh, not the subject today. The choice that is important to us today is 2012 IBC allows you, instead of going to AC7, to design a regularly shaped building, meeting criteria given in section 1609.6.1, to use the alternate all heights method that is in the code itself. So 2012 IBC itself gives you the permission to use the alternate all heights method, which is included in the code itself, instead of going to ASCE 7. I, I want you to say that that's an important choice. Then uh, ASCE 7 uh, itself, when you go there, uh, AC 710 wind design is quite different in many respects from what we had in AC 705, which I suppose most of you would be more familiar with. Uh, for one thing, wind provisions were in chapter 6 of AC 705, they are in multiple chapters in the back of the book in AC 710. The wind chapters are 26 through 31. Now, I want to talk about the wind design methods or options that are provided by ASCE 7. In 2005, we had method 1, method 2, method 3. Very simple. Method 1 was called simplified method. Now, uh, method 2, under it, had two distinct and separate methods of wind design. There was the general analytical procedure applicable to buildings of all heights, what we are calling the all heights method, and a, an, 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 a low rise analytical procedure applicable to buildings having mean roof height not exceeding 60 feet, not exceeding the minimum plan dimension. And then we had method three, designed based on wind tunnel testing. AC 710 has chosen to call the all heights method under method 2 of AC 705 a directional procedure. 